Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here, here to show you a new asset that I just released on the Unity Asset Store called the Character Enhancement Toolkit for Polygon Packs. This toolkit enables you to make use of the wide variety of Cinti Polygon Packs that you own yourself and want to use all those accessories and facial features and hair all on characters and swap them really easily. So I'm going to show you how to get it working today. Let's get started. All right, I just opened up a basic screen. This is 2021.3 built-in render pipeline. And so the first thing we'll do is we'll install the character enhancement toolkit. And because this isn't quite published yet, I'll be using just a straight Unity package. And so let me install it. Okay, so if if it worked, you should now have a Link Here Studios folder with Character Enhancement Toolkit. And so we'll go to the scenes and we'll open up the adult character model. If we press play, nothing will happen. None of the drop downs will work. None of these will work. And that's because we don't have the packs installed yet. So let's do that. So I'm going to import a package, custom package of a Unity asset that I own. I'm going to pick something on the smaller side, such as gang warfare. All right, so if it is if it installed, it'll install in the assets root folder. So kind of a, a sibling of Link here Studios. The way my asset works is it looks into the resources folder. So what we have to do here is create a resources folder. With with the resources folder created, we'll move the polygon gang warfare to the resources folder. And we're almost done. Next, we're going to right click, go to toolkit, and we're going to click the show toolkit window. And in it, we get this new menu here, the polygon character pack sorter here. And it's broken down in three steps, create directories, the packs to sort and copy assets over. So first step is we want to create the directories. And with that, it creates a new folders file structure in the resource called sorted. There's badges, bags, characters, facial hair, hair, hats, hip slot, masks, and different types of weapons. For my version 1.0 release, I am just dealing with the facial features, so the hair, beard, masks, and characters. Upcoming will be weapons and other accessories. Once those directories are created, you can then click the pack you want to sort. So in this case, the gang warfare. With that selected, you can click copy assets over. It will initiate play mode, and so then you can exit play mode, and then it finishes the copy, and we can see that there's some files moved over, so melee, masks, male and female characters. So Gang Warfare didn't have that many assets, so you can see that there's no hats or hair or facial hair, so I'm going to install Battle Royale. So with Battle Royale created, you can then move it over to the resources folder. And instead of going through the, sh the toolkit menu, we can also right click, go to toolkit, and we can sort individual packs selecting the sort Battle Royale assets. And we can see that down here it was a success, and we have several, almost everything filled up. And that's what we want to see. Now what we can do is we can go into the play mode and we have all the Battle Royale characters as well as the Gang Warfare characters. Easily toggable. You can also use the drop down to pick out exactly which one you want. Sorted by name and named fairly well so it's easy to use. We have three different cameras. You have the body camera and the face camera, as well as this orbit camera, which allows you to move around the character. You can zoom in too. You have a randomized face option. And then for each of the different assets, hats, hair, beards, and masks, you can change them individually. And then if you'd like to remove it, you can remove it by pressing the X or randomize it individually using the dice. 
And then if you click female, you then get the female characters. And it persists over with the same attachment, so we can just remove them as well if we like and go through the characters for female. So once you find something that you like, let's say you like this, you can then save it. I'm going to name it Good Girl. And then save prefab. It will create another folder called Saved Prefabs, and then you'll have your Good Girl in here. And that allows you to, in the future, in your own game, to just export this model, and now you have a customized character. And that, my friends, is the Character Enhancement Toolkit. I hope you think this is pretty cool and saves you a ton of time. And uh, you can pick it up now at in the Unity Asset Store. Thanks for listening and have a great day.